Well, hello everybody. Glad you came to join me for this special art project. We've got a couple of our things sitting out here. Um, this is all you're gonna need to gather for our project. A couple of yard sticks, some paint brushes, a good piece of cardboard. Now this is spray uh, primer, and this is just a can of uh, $2 mistake paint that I picked up from, from Lowe's. And we're also gonna need these colors as well or maybe some other colors if, if you have a thought about what you would like to have. But you definitely need yellow and red. All right, let's go on to the next thing. Okay, so we've got our piece of cardboard here. Um, I've just kind of stood it up and we're, gonna, we're just gonna draw a flame on the side. We're gonna sketch it out. You can use any size cardboard and it's up to you what shape it takes, but we're just gonna kind of do a sketch here and then take a look at it. Okay, so here is our flame outline. Ignore the fact that it looks a little bit like the Presbyterian flames on either side of our, our cross. Um, but you can see just giving it some shape, fitting in between. Um, and also put this line here. We're gonna glue a stick into the middle of this at some point. And so I was just kind of sizing up where I wanted and where the, where the edges of the flame were gonna be in relationship to the stick. You don't want it to be hanging out as it flies in the wind. Um, so we've got that going there and that'll help keep us on track as we start cutting and um, that'll help us. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, you can use scissors or I'm going to use a blade. Um, if you have either, you know, you can work with it, cut it to shape and we'll go to the next thing. All right. Through the magic of editing, we have our, our first cutout. Um, and you see, I made, I made kind of a crease here. We know, we know where our, 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 our thing is going here, but we've made a crease here. I thought it would be neat maybe if my flame could move a little bit, maybe if it could uh, fly in the in the wind a little bit like a real flame. Um, and so I'm going to bend this side over here as well. See, I just made a crease, bent it, and then that gives it a little bit of a little bit of movement. Uh, I'm just going to put my stick here as well and kind of kind of make sure I've got that still right and it's still got room in between where I've folded it to make some movements things like that. So I've got plenty of room. This is good. We're going to move on to another piece. We're going to cut another piece out of the cardboard. We'll go to that here in just a second. So my lovely talented assist, assistant Amara is uh, showing us here. We're going to put it and we're going to trace the same shape and we can pancake it. We can glue two pieces together. You can take a couple of pieces and put them on top of each other. You'll see that here in a minute. We do another flame uh, together that, that's a little bit smaller and um, but for me I'm, I'm just gonna do something that just covers the stick which is the other option if you're low on cardboard or if you don't have um, enough cardboard you can you can cut out a shape that's just enough to cover the stick so I'm gonna put my my stick on here I'm gonna kind of see where about that's gonna go and um, we're just gonna kind of trace the stick on and then I'll know how much cardboard I need to cut out to just cover the stick. And thank you, Amara, for her excellent, excellent work. Yeah. <laughs> so here I've got my little piece. And you can see I kinda I kind of cut it in the shape of the flame just to kind of follow what we've already cut out, but it is just big enough to cover the stick that's gonna go inside. So if you're low on cardboard or you don't want to have Two pieces are all, I'm, I'm trying to see if mine's going to fly in the wind. That's, that's why we're going to do it this way. So the next part, give me a couple parts. We're going to just paint some of the primer on here. And you can see Amara has got just the $2 mistake paint from Lowe's. It's just indoor outdoor house paint. And we're just going to, we're just going to paint that on there all the way. You can see on this other one, I've gone ahead and used the uh, primer. It's a spray primer and you can use any kind of spray primer you have, or even just another light color if you have that kind of lying around. Um, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but those are the two options that you have. Once again, through the magic of editing, we are done. Voila, with the magic paintbrush and Amara's help. Um, we've gone ahead and, and just covered both of these and we're going to flip them over. We're going to do the other side and we're going to make sure both sides are covered um, before we get to, to gluing or you can do it. Um, you can do the gluing first, which is what I'm going to do. I've got just one side of them finished and I'm going to glue 
um, before putting them together. And you can use hot glue for this. You can use wood glue. You can use kind of basically any kind of glue. Um, I'm going to use a mixture of hot glue and Elmer's glue. Um, you can even use tape. <laughs> if you've got duct tape, tape that sucker on there. Um, and uh, uh, just away. We're going to snap our fingers. <laughs> and through very slow editing, we're going to have moved on to our, our next phase which we've got everything glued in together and uh, we've got a smaller one over here and you can see we use several pieces just kind of layered them on top of each other for that one and we've, we're using the, the paint stir the largest paint stir for that i went back actually and took some of this um white uh primer and just did like some outlines and things i don't know maybe it'll come through maybe those places will be a little bit more red or a little bit more yellow um, I'm going to start getting into the red and yellow paint now as well. We're going to shake them up. We're going to get some color on there and uh, see what's next. So I did a base coat of red and then I just kind of squirted some yellow on there and I'm just going to kind of lightly do it while it's still wet. This is the red paint is still wet here and um, we're going to just kind of mush it together. So you can see it kind of gives that fun technique and moving the brush back and forth very easily just gives you a, a way to um, kind of make those colors look together, similar. Great job. <laughs> this is the other side um, where we also kind of went back after everything was completely dry and put in some more yellow. Uh, and you could put in some, some uh, blue or some white as well. And I went ahead and painted the stick black. Too, so it just uh, kind of blends into the background a little bit but you can paint any color you want it's your art project you're doing great you're you're the creative master of your of your fire and uh, whatever you can bring to the to the table to worship on Sunday will be great we'll see you later <laughs>